Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something interesting. Um, is it hard for someone from World of Warcraft to switch to Guild Wars 2? Uh, I'll be honest with you, when I started playing this game, I had a hard time to actually switch, uh, you know, my gameplay, my, like, my mindset, like, the way that I used to play for World of Warcraft was way too different, and I was reluctant to play this game, to be honest with you, because when I see it, the, 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 <laughs> no, I saw 10, uh, spell bars, like, 10 spells in, like, this hotbar and I remember playing a uh, never winter I, I remember I remember playing uh, well mainly never winter I believe and uh, I did not really like never winter so I was afraid that Guild Wars 2 was uh, gonna be the same thing so that was my first assumption and I was wrong by the way to think that way but then I played uh, what is it Elder Scroll online and uh, when I play Elder Scroll online I kind of liked it. I kind of liked the switching, you know, combination like uh, our weapon set thingy and the dodge roll thingy. I kind of like it in in, in uh, Elder Scroll Online, which is another reason why I decided to try Guild Wars 2 because in uh, in reality, it's hard for someone who comes from World of Warcraft to just say, you know what, I'm gonna start playing this way now, you know, because World of War because while players we 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 used to have like you know, like 12, like two, two, two hot bars with 12 spells, so that's 24. You know, and then we have another five, so that's 10, so that's 24, 30. We used to have like a 34, 34 spell, you know, st you know, like spells uh, on hot bars, plus on another uh, 24 on the sides, if you do. So when we see like 10 spells over here, we're like, what the hell is that, you know? <laughs> so that's why it wasn't it's not easy for, for people from World of Warcraft to um, to be how can I say to be appealed, to be um um to approach this game in a different way. The reason why I like Guild Wars 2, that the reason why I choose to play it wait a second. My graphic is too much. One second guys. Maybe not actually, because uh, I'm actually like lagging and I don't. Okay, I'm still lagging? What the hell? One second, guys. What about low? Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, reflection, none. There we go. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, what was I saying? Um, it's not easy for someone from World of Warcraft to switch mindset and say, you know, like I'm gonna try Guild Wars 2. The only re the only way Guild uh, uh, World of War WoW players will play this game is if another WoW player like me, a veteran player, actually plays it and make videos out of it. Like to be honest with you, that would that would that would that would be the only way a, a World of Warcraft player with like 16 years or 15 years or 10 years. Of experience in World of Warcraft uh, would switch to this game because you know it's we're like it's kind of like word to mouth thing. Uh, no, not word to mouth. Like, uh, is it word to mouth? Ear to mouth? No. <laughs> I was about to say mouth to mouth. No, it's not mouth to mouth. <laughs> but you know what I mean, guys. So, so word to mouth. So basically, if another uh, wall player like me plays this game, you know, and shows what's good, what's good, what's good, what's not so good, and what's best, and you know what's imp what's imp what's interesting that I, I would believe that would be the only way that another wild player would be inclined to try inclined to try the game because trust me it's very hard for a veteran World of Warcraft player to just switch mentality it, it, like to an, to to this type of gameplay and to be honest with you the fact that I that I uh, the fact that you see 10 spells over here is way more than than you think a lot of uh, WoW players, they don't understand that. You also have another 5 spell over here. You have a combination of many spell over here. And they don't understand that we also have the uh, the skill line over here. These things that plays, uh, you know, that has a lot of uh, impact on your gameplay. Plus, you can also switch, like, to other, uh, you know, other specialization. Not even mentioning the uh, elite. Two other elite specialization. And not to mention the new Ed of the Dragon, new elite specialization as well. 
So you're gonna have three elite specialization plus five uh, core specialization. You know what I'm saying? But while players, they don't they don't understand that. They they don't know that because <laughs> how can I say? It? We we are lazy. We are lazy to try to figure out if it's good or not good. What is this? What is that? You know, people are uh, they're like that. You know, we are. Li I'm like that. I was like that. And the only the only way I was to approach your game is if somebody from World of Warcraft, a veteran player, were to play this game and were to promote it indirectly or directly on this channel and say like this is good because this this and this and this right. But I did not heard anything about any WoW players. Well, so far now there is some, uh, some, but I mean before when I started three months ago, I didn't hear much a promotion about other wild players that was promoting this game, right? So my chances to play this game was very slim. Now you're gonna say, why did I, why did I choose to play then? That's because I played Final Fantasy XIV, which I didn't like, which, which I liked and did not like for some other reasons. If you want to see my review, it's on my channel playlist, uh, Final Fantasy XIV Final Review. Uh, the other reason is because I was supposed to play Elder Scroll Online forever. Elder, Elder Scroll Online was supposed to be my game, technically. But uh, Zenimax kind of messed up the uh, uh, something. They messed up the launching day. The, uh, not the launching day, the launcher. Because they made a like a daily, like a like a monthly rolling patch download, whatever you call it. And uh, since then, thousands and thousands of players could not cannot log in into the Elder Scroll Online. Uh, launcher. We, I cannot even launch. Nobody can launch. There's like thousands, like and a hundred, if not uh, hundreds of thousands of players who cannot log in, and they still can't log in a lot. Like I have uh, a review on that. If you want to see on my channel, it's uh, what is it? Elder, El Elder Scroll Online uh, launcher not working, and I, I, it's a rant a video. So if you don't want to hear me ranting, that you don't want to watch that. But I was really angry because I just purchased the expansion for $54. I was having a lot of fun with uh, my companion because you have a companion that is with you, which you can gear and, you know, do solo quests with. I was really, 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 really having a lot of fun. Despite the fact that I did not really like the uh, the trading house, like the auction house was very badly uh, and systematically, uh, you know, built in game. So I, I really despised that. But the fact that I had no other choices, and the fact that I, ha I have not discovered Guild Wars 2 yet, I was really angry about El Elder Scroll Online Zenimax. And I made them understand, and there's a lot of people who came into my channel to acknowledge that, because people who has Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 12, is there, uh, is there Windows 10? I don't think so. Windows 12, well, is it Windows 10? Yeah, no, it is Windows 10. <laughs> kind of lost anyway the recent window everyone with different windows they have the same issue so it has nothing to do with windows it has to do with something specific in their download like a coding or i don't know what it is i don't care what it is because i'm done with elder scroll online i'll never come back a lot of people have found a, a, a way to fix the issue but it, there's like thousands of different uh, ways i i in my video if you watch it i tried like multiple ways to try to fix the issue i reinstall i uninstalled the game two times or three times i reinstalled the game from fresh i still cannot log in i start i try to auto troubleshooting i still cannot log in i was i was pissed i was mad and that's not is not good to watch if you don't want to hear me ranting I, when i'm angry i'm angry i'm very very ugly you know what i mean and i believe that um Guild Wars 2 had that same issue like last month. I think last month they had the same issue where I couldn't log in because there was a down, they, down there was a patch download where there was a coding or some issue and I was about to rage again. And but I didn't because they fixed the issue in less than 2 days, which is very good. Thank you very much because I, I really wanted to because Guild Wars 2 was my last option, otherwise I was going to quit playing MMORPG because I don't want to play Terra, I don't want to play Neverwinter, I don't want to play World of Warcraft, and I don't want to play Final Fantasy XIV. You know, like, Guild Wars 2 was my last option, so if, if I couldn't log in into Guild Wars 2 because of another patch download issue, I would have made a final review about Guild Wars 2 and I would have uh, been very, very ugly to listen. 
And I don't like being like that. And I really, I myself, because the thing is this, like, you want me to play your game, make sure it works, you know? I mean, you know, <laughs> but now it works. So I don't complain or anything. But I'm just saying, guys, I'm just saying. Right now, I'm very happy with Guild Wars 2. Don't get me wrong. And, um, you know, I don't mind to wait. And uh, there was alternative, the alternative that I used for to log in uh, Guild Wars 2 was working. It's because when I was logging to Guild Wars 2 in full screen mode, it would crash. But when I would log in uh, Guild Wars 2 in uh, window mode, it would work. But the thing is, I like to play full screen, you know what I'm saying? But now I don't play full screen, to be honest with you. Right now, I play like in 720p, I think, right now. So, like, I don't even play full screen. I'm still having fun. And it's better for my processor because I have an, an old PC. So, uh, yeah, so it's... <laughs> yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. Uh, go back to the main uh, thing. Uh, the other reason why I like Guild Wars 2, uh, after that I switch from Elder Scroll Online to Guild Wars 2, is because you have a Ranger. Now you're going to say, what does that have to do with anything? Ranger is the equivalent of a Hunter in World of Warcraft. I've been playing Hunter for 16 years. Uh, with uh, I love Hunters, and the reason... You're going to ask me, why do I like Hunters? Well, because the, re the first reason is the BM Hunter, the Beast Mastery. But the, the real reason is more profi is more deeper than that is because I used to have a Doug. And I don't want to go too much deep into that. That because I get a little bit emotional when I talk about it. <clears throat> See, I'm getting emotional already. Um, man, why am I so emotional? God damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very emotional when I talk about it because... See, I don't... Okay, you know what? Let's not talk about it. Jesus, why am I so emotional? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Huh? <sighs> wow, why am I so emotional? I don't even understand myself. Sorry, I uh, just need some time. <sighs> well, man, this is this is this is weird, man. This is weird. Yeah, I love uh, pets. Ugh, Jesus, fuck. I love pets. All right, let's let's just switch to something else. I just love pets. Time to do some real damage. All right, let's go somewhere else. There's a lot of dust in my house, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, like, dusty place in the... <laughs> Makes me, uh, you know, gives me tears, you know? <laughs> wow, now I just switched. There you go. See, I just switched from... from whoa, that's, that's, that's messed up. Yeah, anyway, so... It is hard for, for a wild player to, um... Well, it's not hard. It's kind of re relative, but it can be hard because... You know, we're, we're so used to playing a certain way that when we switch to this kind of uh, gameplay, it's... Um... It's not easy. Uh, 
but once you understand, once you understand uh, the the fun part of this game, which is uh, the what I like the most from this game, basically, it's pretty much um, this the, the 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 skill line, the beast, ma the this over here. When I discovered this and all what it does, you know what it pertains. That's where I, I started really to get interested into the game. The secondary thing I like is the bows because I love bows. So you have bows, which is a very good thing. You have uh, pets just like in World of Warcraft. And the fact that you have bows and pets and this skill line, these skill lines over here, you know, uh, I was like, this is when I started to be like, wait a second, this is fucking awesome. This is very fun. And then you have the utility skill, the traps, and you have this to evade. You have the ultimate over here, the you know, and have all the other options, all the uh, options, the amazing uh, combination you can have. Then you have the gear. Then you have uh, the 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 storyline. You have the crafting as well, the achievement, the masteries, you know, all that. Then I start to like getting very very interested into the game. But the thing the thing is, before you get this far, before I get this far. <laughs> The real reason why I switched to Guild Wars 2 is because he had a ranger, you know, just like a hunter from World of Warcraft, a bow, because I love bows. That would be the main reason. If he hadn't had a ranger, it would have been hard for me to have switched because I really love, because I miss my hunter from World of Warcraft, to be honest with you. And the fact that you have pets, it's even better. It's like a super mega plus. So I was also wondering if you could have like a, no, because in World of, War, World, World of Warcraft, we have spectral, uh, spectral animals. Like spectral ghost um, pets, which you can find around the world, uh, but they are rare pets that only spawn like a specific time. Uh, like they they this they, they rarely spawn in a specific area, and you really really have to wait. And you need to uh, like basically sometimes I would just wait for hours in a specific spot be until it spawns. There th these called they were these were uh, we call them exotic pets. And they were like legendary pets in a sense. Well, not legendary, but they were like super hard to get pets. And I would. This is one thing I I, I would I, that would be fun to have in Guild Wars 2, is to have pets that are hard like legendary. Not legendary, but like you know like pets that only spawns once in the blue moon and they're very hard to get. But once you get them, they would have an ability or something that is so unique and so, you know, so so unique. You know what I mean? That would be a good thing because I love pets, like I just said. And yeah, guys, um, it's 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 hard and it's not hard. But the thing is, like I said, right now I'm promoting your games a lot, and I think there's a lot of players, MMORPG players, that are from uh, from past commenters that say they decided to try Guild Wars 2 uh, because I because I was making a lot of videos, I guess, and they find it quite interesting. And also, if you go on YouTube and you search uh, "Wow Wow Veteran Player Plays um, Guild Wars 2" or "Wow." players switch to Guild Wars 2, you're going to notice that a lot of players of World of Warcraft are, are switching to Guild Wars 2 instead of Final Fantasy 14 or instead of Elder Scroll Online. So I think that the fact that a veteran player like me who is promoting your game is a very, very good thing, like indirectly and it's free. I'm not, you know, not charging anything anyone. I just do it because I love the game, because I understand why it's fun and everything. The other reason why I like uh, uh, Guild Wars 2, it would be because of one thing. Oh yeah, this is, I think that would be the main, like, <laughs> if not the major, like, one of the major reasons is because back in World of Warcraft, I had, I was always trying to be the best in everything. I was always trying to be the best in PvP, in crafting, gear, dungeon. I wanted to be the first. In everything and I was always rushing 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 and rushing and stressing myself to log in to finish my daily and everything but in this game I don't I honestly don't care anymore about that and that's why I like this game is because I don't feel like rushing now you're gonna say but how are you gonna get to end game if you if you don't do your dailies if you don't get your elements for crafting legendaries well see that's the hardest part to explain because in my real life I wanted I always wanted to travel like to just walk towards a destination without, without uh, you know, without ach without a without achieving that destination. I always wanted to walk towards a future, towards like a towards somewhere without looking back or without looking too much forward. And that's what I felt in Guild Wars 2. I could do that. I could do that. I I, I could just simply walk in different area zone, gather maybe do a little bit of PVE. P uh, you know like gathering 
And I'm happy that in End of the Dragons you're going to have fishing because I just love fishing. Don't ask me why. I just love fishing. I think it's very soothing, very relaxing, you know. And, and, and that's the reason why I personally like Guild Wars 2 is because <clears throat> you have the option not to rush. You want to rush, it's fine. If you want to end game, you want to get your legendary, you want to get your dailies, you want to do your strike, your fractals, your raids. You, if you want a world v world, that's up to you. It's an option. But the fact that you have an option not to do all of that and to simply walk towards a direction without asking yourself where you're going. That is one of the most amazing features that I've ever found in any video game so far. I've been playing video games for 30 years, guys. And I'm not even. I'm not even. Uh, I'm not even talking about the. Um, I'm not even talking about the outfits, the cut, the the skins, the gear, the T-Mog. I'm not even. Look, look at my T-Mog. Yeah, wait. Uh, you goddamn piece of. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wait. All right. I, I, look at my T-Mog, guys. Oh, my T-Mog. I mean, my skin. I know a lot of you will have mixed feelings about the fact that I purchased this. I, this is a is an outfit that I purchased in a gem store, by the way. You know, for real money. It cost me around, I think, uh, $5 or $6, I think. But look at it. And look at my bow. Look at my skin. Look at look at everything. Look, Oh, shit. Look at... Screen the fucking shot. One second, guys. Screenshot. There we go. Oh, please don't lag. Oh, no. Don't lag. Okay, one second, guys. Oops, sorry guys. Uh, I, I was uh, there was a lag. There was a lag. I don't know what happened because I took a screenshot and uh, what, what happened to my screenshot? What the hell? Did it go through? Wait, did it? Yeah, okay, it go. Th it went through. All right, that's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What was I talking about? Yeah. So the reason why I like this game is because you have the option to relax, and uh, you have also awesome skin. This skin has been purchased in the in the auction, uh, not in the uh, in the gem store, because it's like uh, you know like a like any like Final Fantasy fourteen and Elder Scrolls Online, they have a gem store, you know, a store where you can actually like look. I'm gonna show you this guy over here, the Black Lion Trading Company. So you can buy a lot of things over here. You don't have to, by the way, it's optional. But I mean, me, I don't mind to buy it if I like it. And to support the company as well because the company is doing a good job to give. Oh shit! Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What the astral scholar? Astral scholar. Oh. One second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. One second, guys. I just want to see something. Come on, come on, come on. This guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's nice actually. Wait, I'm gonna put some shaders. One second, guys. One second. Uh, shaders, medium. Nice. This is beautiful. Oh, shish kebab. Look at her leg. Ooh, baby. Mm, you know what? One second. Um, where is the uh, uh thing? Uh, it's not here. It's this one. Interface, small, large. There we go. Oh yeah. <sighs> it's undeniable. That we should be together It's unbelievable How I used to say it I'd fall never What, what am I doing right now? I forgot what it was 
I never would have done a very far. <laughs> Cause you know you've gone and on to my heart. I think I'm screwed up the song one. <laughs> You're like a dream come true too. Just wanna be with you three. Girl, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me and four repeat steps one through three five make you fall in love with me if ever I believe my job not not my job my work is done God damn it <laughs> then I'll start back at one. Good job, DJ, for screwing up the entire song. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, this is good. This is good content. Oh my god, I'm so gonna laugh at myself. I'm so gonna laugh at myself. Seriously, man. Sheesh kebab. But anyway, this is a nice outfit, by the way. I want the Kung Lao outfit. This is Kung Lao. Well, it says a mage, but it's I see it as Kung Lao. Wait, this is fucking Kung... This is Kung Lao. Oh man, I want the Kung Lao. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Kung Lao. I can't believe they killed Kung Lao in the last uh, Mortal Kombat movie. Seriously. Orin Wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that one too, but 700? I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, the glider. Ooh, see, this is nice. Oh, look at... Oh, my... Oh, my God. This is... This is wow. <laughs> this is freaking wow. Like, I would be flashing. With this, I'd be flashing. Oh, my God. 700? Oh... It's tempting. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of stuff in the gem store, guys. So you want to check it out if there's anything you like. Um, yeah, I just buy whenever I have the money. If I have the money, if it really, if I really want. Oh shit! What the? What the? What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's cute. Uh, bloom dagger, bloom sword. What? Yeah, yeah. That's nice too. I like this guy here. The the hat. This is cute. This, oh, <laughs> look <laughs> with the wings and that. Oh wow! And oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that. This is nice, actually. This is actually nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually nice. What is this guy? Oh. Wait. Let let me let me put the shaders at, at high. Let me see what happened. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Holy shish kebab, guys. That's very nice. Crystal Nomad outfit. Oh wow. Yeah, this is a uh, it's nice. This is like Avatar, the people, the the North Pole thingy. I like that shit. That's nice. What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't know if I wanna wear that. Unless it's like Chinese New Year, I don't know. Duena. I think I already Ooh Bro. I haven't seen that before. Look look guy, are you are you are you seeing this with the wings? With the wings? The, the outfit and the wings? Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you? Are you? Okay, screen the shit. Screen the shot. Uh, screen the. What the? Screenshot! Okay, there we go. Bro. Are you? With the sword? Like, seriously? <laughs> Bro, this is this, what Duena's regalia outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the wings at the back. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I have this one. This is the one I bought, guys. By the way, dynamic Ezo suit because I just like the Mando type of, you know. <laughs> what about this guy? Oh my lord! Look at that. Oh my god! With the how much is okay? Oh wow! This is nice. This is really nice. Holy shish kebab. Oh my god. Oh, the gauntlet? What about that? Do I? Oh, it's. Oh wow, it switched me into my entire outfit. Yeah. What about this? Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I see where this is going. And then this, and then this guy. Then, oh! Mmm! She's like, a, you know, like, a, uh, like an assassin, like a sexy assassin. I'll be like, girl, you can kill me anytime you want. And she's like, are you insane? I'm like, nope. Killing me softly, killing me softly with his word. Singing my life with his pens. What? Singing my life with his so. Wait, wait, with his what? Singing, killing me softly with his word. Singing my life with his 
What was that next word? Singing my life with his pen. Killing me softly with his song. With his. Killing me softly with his word. With a. I forgot. Killing me softly with his song. Whoa, I forgot the rest, you know, whatever. <laughs> Are, you, <laughs> Are you guys like, you, you guys like my, welcome to my channel. This is who I am, guys. This is, yeah, anyways, I'm not going to go any further. So if you guys want to buy anything, there you go in the, in the thing. But the main reason why I like the, oh, shit, wait. I'm going to put this, the shaders down because now I'm lagging. Shaders to low. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was saying, so if, yeah, that's why I like this game. Uh, is it hard for any World of Warcraft to switch to uh, this game? I would say it's relative. But if I make videos about your game, I'd say a lot of them, a lot of WoW veteran, like not just WoW veteran players, but any MMORPG players will be always inclined to watch, you know, someone who's been playing video games for a long time and who's promoting a game for a certain reason. So I guess... The answer is hard to answer. <laughs> I would say yes and no, but I mean, no, it's my pleasure to promote this game because I actually really do like it. But in order to like it, you need to understand why it's fun to play this game. But then to understand why it's fun to play this game, you need to try this game. But then to try this game, you need to feel appeal to try this game. And how do you do that? By watching videos from other people, other players that are playing it. And then that's how they discover the game. And they'll be like, oh, well, if he likes the game and, you know, he has some experience in, you know, MMORPG games, maybe I should give it a try. And then once they try, then they need to understand. Once they understand, that's when they you can tell if they will or will not like the game. You understand what I mean? The thing that is missing in this game, to be honest with you, I think would be the housing. I would love to have housing. I know I did mention it in one of my previous video, but I mean, if Anet can do it, I mean, I don't, I know that we have instances, by the way, guys, but I'm not talking about instances. I would like to have my own personal house, you know, you know, like, the, you know, you know, like a house, like, like Final Fantasy 14 house, where you can have your own little cute items. You can, you know, like a lot of people like that. Just, you know, you know, like in the Sims, the Sims, I would like to have my own house, to build my own house, to, to have my own type of house. That would be so, that would be like, that would be like a super mega nuclear bomb right there. I mean, it would be so incredible if they can do it because I would be like, oh my God, I, I'm so gonna grind. I'm, actually, I'm not a grinder, so I'm so gonna find a way to, to build my house. Like, I don't care. I want a house. Like, I want to be able to have a house, but I want to be able to have my own type of house. To build the, t the, the, you know, like I want to have a, a unique type of house, but then the I the element, the items inside will be like, you know, different. Of course, it doesn't, I mean, it, you know, it depends what kind of house you have, but in Final Fantasy 14, they have like, they even have a sauna, libraries, they have carpets, they have a lot of chairs, tables, they even have a garden, they have a stable outside, they have, uh, you know, what I think would be great is to have like, some sort of like a farm i don't know a farm like <laughs> now people's gonna say this is not a farm game this is guild wars 2 i know but final fantasy is a mm you know it's a f mmorpg and they do have some sort of a stable and a house gardening you know they, they do have it like i know it's an mmorpg but still you know why not it, it, it's just an option i'm not, I'm not saying they should do it <clears throat> i'm just saying i would be very pleased if they do it that's all but even without it i'm still having fun what i'm having fun a lot doing in this game is when i log in i just walk like this i put the music to maximum volume usually where is it like this and i just walk and i do this and i just look around now people will say this is boring i'm like well it depends look listen to the music are you guys listening to music wait Is this any music? Look at my bird. Look at the area. Oh, this is nice screenshot. One second. Screenshot. It's beautiful. Well, 
Well, yeah, guys. Anyway, so that's that's that is me. Not everybody will like. Oh wait a second. Not everybody will like to do what I do. But like I said, if you can learn, if if you like a game that is peaceful and doesn't require you to rush in any way, then Guild Wars 2 may be an, uh, a good option for you. Unless you like to rush, unless you like to, you know, like catch the, the speed wagon. And if you like to be like everybody else who wants, well, everybody else. If you like to like grind, grind dailies, dailies, and you know, get to the end game and stuff like that. That that's good. You can do that too. I just choose. I just choose not to do that. That's all. And I'm still having fun. Screenshot. She's beast. Damn, I love, I love, I love my, uh, I look at Zuzu. <laughs> She's there, meow. I, it would be great that when we click them, you can hear like, meow. Like I, she never meow, she, she never meow. She, what, you, can you meow, like, meow, you know, like, hello. Can you meow for me? Does she? Wait. Meow. Hey. Meow. 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 Hey. I said meow. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, stop clicking me, you bitch. I'm like, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah, it, it is possible for uh, WoW players or any kind of MMORPG player to switch to this game. If they... If... I, I would say if some players like me, I would say, you know, with some experience, who promotes it indirectly, because otherwise it's very hard to just find the game. Because I never heard about the game... I'll be honest with you, when I used to play World of Warcraft, I've never heard about Guild Wars 2 until I just end up having no choice to try it because uh, Elder Scroll Online and Final Fantasy XIV didn't fit my needs. So promotion-wise, it's very hard for me to... F it was hard for, hard for me to discover Guild Wars 2. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm promoting your games, I think there's a high uh, chances that more players will, you know, try the game at least because it's free to play. And then perhaps buy the game once they discover how fun it is and in different ways and not just by pvp pve or you know whatever me i have fun just walking around crafting gathering that's my fun actually and i take a lot of screenshots as you can see because i'm a photographer you know so yeah guys let me know what you guys think and uh thanks for watching sorry for the emotional reaction before i am a very emotional guy so uh, a sensitive guy when it comes to some sensitive topics so yeah thanks for watching and uh let me know what you guys think please uh like subs and thank you see you in my next video cheers